Buenos dias, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. I'm super excited today because I'm standing in front of one of the historical landmarks of Sevilla. It's Hotel Alfonso uh, the 13th. Uh, it's actually really popular here. In fact, you know, people who are not staying here uh, will actually come here just to visit the architecture because the architecture is one of the 10 most beautiful architectures here in the city of Sevilla. Now, this was commissioned by King Alfonso the 13th back in, I think, 1918. Uh, for the World Expo. I think there was some sort of expo happening back then and he wanted to build this world-class hotel uh, to actually host all the international dignitaries uh, coming here to the city uh, for the expo. So sure enough, today is actually hosting me. Uh, I'm gonna bring you around, uh, super excited. Uh, we'll see what we find out. Uh, the architect for this uh, hotel is, uh, I think his name is Jose Munez. Uh, he completed this in 1928. So the hotel was officially opened in 1929. Uh, today, the city actually owns the property, but it's actually managed by uh, Marriott. So the luxury collection of Marriott. So come go out and live with me. We'll check out this uh, fabulous, historical, elegant, grand hotel. I think I'm running out of adjectives for it. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what we can find out. Folks, before we start, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new contents that upload weekly. Muchas gracias. So Hotel Alfonso the 13th is an amazing hotel, historical in the city. For full disclosure, they did not pay me to actually do this video. I paid on my own to actually stay here and generate content. Walking in uh, the uh, main hall or where the uh, check-in desk is, it's amazing. As you can see, you have this Moorish pillar. Uh, that you see at the uh, Cathedral Mosque in Cordoba. Uh, and you keep, if you keep walking in, you actually see a second hall uh, with stairs uh, leading up to the guest room and also an elevator, two really old elevators on the right. And here, it's actually a grand space as well. Uh, the ceiling has a fine crafted wood panel. Um, and like any buildings here in Seville or Sevilla, uh, there's a inner courtyard and the inner courtyard of Hotel Fanso the 13 is everything. It's just a sight to behold. It's just so beautiful uh, sitting here. And this is actually the house uh, or the home of a restaurant, uh, the main uh, hotel restaurant. And it's great to actually just uh, be here in the morning as you sip your coffee and eat your breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, the buffet selection here is really decent. You have a lot of jamón, obviously, because you're in Spain, uh, as well as fruit and cheeses, and a cooked section consisting of eggs and baked beans, uh, a plate of broccoli, which I appreciate a lot, uh, as well as fresh juices um, and salads. Uh, those don't come by easily in, in the Spanish diet. Uh, a section on gluten-free and a section on uh, low sugar and also a uh, egg station that you can order your omelette. And of course, uh, you have a good selection of cakes and dessert as well. So Hotel Alfonso the 13th also has a number of uh, ballrooms and dining rooms, and it's just well decorated. I mean, it's very sound in Spain when it comes to the design. Now, the building was designed in the Neo Mudejar style, hopefully I'm, I'm pronouncing that correctly, which essentially means Moorish design, Moorish architecture, which is common in southern Spain, but also has traces to the Andalusia regionalism as well. And here you can actually uh, get, do some shopping as well. As you can see, there are some uh, bags as well as perfumes and cosmetics uh, in a showcase and jewelries as well. Um, the hotel is uh, beautiful, I have to say, that the restaurant itself uh, extends beyond just the courtyard uh, and here you're actually seeing part of the restaurant uh, with tables inside. And there is actually a pool in the hotel, a uh, pretty a nice pool which comes in really handy when the weather or the temperature is 92 degrees when you are here in late August, yes. So you actually just do nothing between two and five and just sit by the pool. And next to the pool, there's also a restaurant, kind of like a pool restaurant to order your food. And you also find a massage room by the pool as well, if you want to relax a little. 
there's supposedly a sauna which I could not find but then again who uses a sauna in the temperature but I did actually find a little kids play area it's um, the main word being little because it's very small and also a gym that you know I was surprised to find because frankly in Europe nobody really exercises or at least they prefer to exercise out in the open and not in a confined space and this indeed is a really little confined space uh, making up of a few uh, uh, you know cardio machines uh, some weights and yeah so and some I think yoga mats were in there as well but I can't remember uh, there's also next to the pool there's also a really nice park uh, that's actually in the hotel And of course, with a historical building like this, the uh, elevator is super ancient as well. Uh, I would say like it's pretty decent size, maybe fit four people. So by Europe standard, that's actually spacious. And when you actually open the door to every floor, you see a main uh, mezzanine or main area uh, before you actually uh, hit the rooms. And this is where the, the, the white staircases are. If you actually want to take the stairs and not as lazy as me taking the elevator and of course there's a view from every floor onto the courtyard that is simply beautiful now I was lucky enough to stay in a suite uh, so let's take a, a tour of the suite uh, you have a really elegant uh, living room uh, with a really nice chandelier I think chandelier is a theme here uh, the uh, it has a work desk you know TV a uh, couch uh, as well as you know a, a second uh, room which is the bedroom so before you actually enter the bedroom you come to a really spacious uh, bathroom as well I think this is probably the size of my bedroom in New York City uh, yes yeah, pretty big it's pretty classic um, and when you walk out, you actually have a good uh, storage space as well, closet space as well uh, for your clothing uh, that comes with a safe and more space to hang your clothing and uh, drawers to actually put your article of clothing in there as well. So it's beautiful. The bedroom itself is actually pretty big, uh, king size bed, another chandelier, it's a beautiful chandelier. So all in all, this is a beautiful historical 93-year-old hotel that's actually worth a stay. If not a stay, just a visit when you're here in Sevilla and just come here, have a cup of coffee, just enjoy this courtyard. Ooh.